be part of the revolution. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Yeah. If each of you will take responsibility to bring five more people, it will be like democracy spring. It begins small, and then every week, it's more and more and more until it's unassailable, right. until nobody can miss the opposition to this plant and the industry that is making this plant. This cannot exist and go forward if we are going to have a planet. We have to take ourselves seriously. We have to congratulate ourselves. We have to put our differences behind us. We have to join together and in unity, we will stop this. It's a great privilege for me to introduce one of my heroes, one of your heroes, one of the most courageous men in the United States. Yes. He has done so much in Congress, so much as an individual, and he was, I believe, responsible in some way for the investigation that is going now, on now because he took our information to Washington and said, you should take a look at this. I want to introduce my friend, an incredible activist, an extraordinary congressman, a man who should have been president, Dennis Kucinich. Yeah. <laughs> it may have been about a year ago that Pramila and uh, Jamie gave me a call and said, we want to tell you what's going on. Uh, out here in the uh, valley, and I began to look at documents. And as some of you know, because I recognize some of the faces, I, I uh, Elizabeth, uh, my wife Elizabeth's here. Thank you. Yay. But Elizabeth and I uh, came out to Warwick, and. As I talk to people and with all the information I gathered, at that time, as you remember, Jamie, I said, you know, this whole plan looks so bad, it stinks, it ought to be investigated. So here we are. Uh, a few weeks uh, ago, the U.S. District Attorney for Manhattan opened up a criminal investigation. On the heels of that, Governor Cuomo uh, said that he would have his own investigation, and in addition to that, uh, he was not letting any more permits go forward, but has has been pointed out, uh, the fact of the matter is uh, that, well, there are facts on the ground here. And this is the time for the governor to use his executive authority with a cloud of criminality over this project and say, we're going to stop it right in its tracks. It's not going forward. Yes. Right yes. now. Yes. 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 Stop it now. Stop it now. Don't wait. Don't wait. I've known Governor Cuomo for many years. We worked together when he was part of uh, the cabinet of Bill Clinton. And I would assume that as he's looking at this right now, he's got to be very concerned that he doesn't get smeared on this project yeah. because this project started before he was governor. So this is a time for the governor to uh, get a strong show of confidence from the public by intervening to say, we're not going to let the people in the, in the Hudson Valley be put at risk with this project. <laughs> As has been pointed out by others, this project existed in a previous application at another location, and they basically are just recycling it and putting uh, and then put the stamp of Wei Weyanda on it. I have a question. How in the world did this project even come up without a full study of the energy needs of New York State? Yes. Because right now, there are studies that suggest that this project in and of itself is not necessary exactly. to meet the energy right. needs exactly. of the state. Right. So first of all, was this trip necessary? Secondly, how in the world, you know, Wei Wei Anda is a beautiful community, thanks to the people who serve it, but population, uh, something like 7,220. How did Wei end up getting designated as the lead agency so yes. that then they would be given the power to approve this whole thing? And, and all the other agencies that are responsible at a state level were simply given an opportunity to, to rubber stamp what happened in Wei And 
how did an attorney who worked for the city of Wei Wayanda, his law firm worked for the city of Wei Wayanda, turn up as an attorney for CPV? Not just that, but representing CPV before the Wei Wayanda uh, town, town board. I looked at one of the uh, transcripts. I've been reading many transcripts uh, thanks to Pramila, okay. who has uh, who has sent me thousands of pages to review. And one of the things that I wanted to point out to the media here, if, if you would look at a transcript of, uh, and I'll make sure you get a copy of it, from 2012, there was a hearing about fire safety and emergency services. I read this transcript. Remember, I've been chairman of an investigative subcommittee. For the life of me, I cannot understand how the town board was able to let this whole discussion about fire safety slide. There was a hearing on it, and, and, and CPV could not produce any evidence that they had any serious discussions with fire officials. This is a massive fire hazard. It is a massive uh, uh, environmental hazard. And you would think that, that if they're at the final stages, they have an entire fire suppression plan laid out, they'd have it all in the, in, not just in the works, but it'd be available for everyone to see. Yeah. The transcript that I read back in 2012 is, well, you know, it was a year ago we had this discussion, but we really don't have this now, but we're going to talk about it. <laughs> hey, you're talking about people's lives here. Yeah. You can't play games with safety issues. <coughs> and CPV has been let, has been able to slide. This thing has been too cozy a deal between uh, CPV, its attorneys, uh, at the, uh, uh, who, represent, who at one point represented uh, uh, the town of Wei Wayanda. Uh, then there's another thing, the question of environmental justice. Back in 2009, the, uh, NAA, the head of the NAACP of, from Middletown sent a, a letter that raised serious questions about environmental justice. Because along the route of this pipeline, uh, there are people, poor people, people of color, uh, who uh, have not had the opportunity, as the NAACP pointed out, to stand up for themselves. They relied on us to be here. And one of the things that was pointed out in this letter is that, you know, the, ammo the ammonium con containment that they're going to have here, uh, yeah. if, you, if you have a 20% containment, that triggers a Clean Air Act review. Mm -hmm. And in their documents, CPV said, well, we're only going to be at 19%. Yeah, right oh, right. Yeah. Oh, we can take their word for that. So, so I'm going to guess that not only in that case, but throughout the documentation, they have found a way to avoid accounting to environmental laws. Uh, just as been pointed out earlier, you know, there, there's things that have happened since the granting of the final environmental impact study and since the approval of it. And, and that's a matter of litigation now. But how, uh, how in the world are they able to, uh, to have this thing continue when new issues relating to health and safety are, have, been, have been raised? Uh, it's been pointed out that New York, under Governor Cuomo, ba banned fracking. Hmm. Then why would we want the fruit of a poison tree to come to New York State? Yes. Uh, because that's really what, what we're talking about. Call <laughs> Governor Cuomo, tell him to stop the power plants. Call Governor Cuomo, say stop the fracking plants. Call Governor Cuomo, tell him to stop the power plants. Call Governor Cuomo, say stop the fracking plants. So, so to the people who are here today, I, and let's move in closer from the road, okay? Come back to the white line, everybody. Moving closer to the people who are here today, and, and to and to the people and to those uh, like Jamie and Camilla and others who put themselves on the line. This is a very important cause. Your cause is a cause of social and economic, political and environmental justice. Your cause is a cause of, of people all over this country who are who are waiting to see. Will there be a breakthrough because people have come together to defend their, their basic right to have, have air that's fit to breathe and water that's fit to drink? Will there be a response from, from people 
who are un, who are relentless, man that is so demonstrably flawed. Will there be a moment when the American people can look at one community and say because they fought and they took a stand and they were successful, we can do the same thing. That's the important thing. Yeah. What, you're, what you're doing is important to the whole culture. I salute you. We're here backing you. I'll continue to back you. I'll continue to communicate to federal and state officials the importance, not just of an investigation, but of stopping this project once and for all, and of making sure that the people of New York, that your rights are protected, just like all over the United States. People have a right to an environment they can call their own. This air, this water does not belong to CPV. It does not belong to you. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Let's have a big cheer for those from where we are and others who put themselves on the line, who have been ready to go to jail, who have said we're going to do everything it takes to stop this. Thank you. Yeah.